everybody, it's Fat Frog, and today we're going to do something a little bit odd. We're going to go tame up some Lymantria, the little moth butterfly guys that fly around uh, here on Scorched Earth since they were first introduced with this map, and also the Archaeopteryx, which I think came out at the same time at this, as this map, or just about. Uh, one thing we are going to need is some bolas. I think that would be great for all of those. Let's grab the resources for 15 of those bad boys. Um, let's see, what else am I going to need? Um, let's do this real quick. And we're going to bring some trank darts and try those out and see how those work. Uh, it's been a while since I've tamed those guys. So let's get on a bird here. And we'll see if we can find some. One that just buzzed right past me is a level 44. So we're going to wait for it to stop freaking out here. And then we're going to try to bowl it. Unless we can catch up with it and get it over here. I don't have my bolas in my hot bar yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it's landing. So that's good. And it is... Oh, no! Oh, so close. I uh, hear... Oh, we got it. I don't know if it's falling in a bad spot or not. Let's go ahead get our birds since we've got some thorny dragons nearby. That might just knock it out. I don't remember which one I grabbed here. Oh, it's being attacked. Well, this thing's going to be killed. It's probably dead already. Yep. We'll get our revenge. We'll get revenge, Lamantria. All right. Well, that is uh, our first little disaster. I don't know. That's not a disaster, but we'll head up. All right. We got a level 96 over here, and it's coming down. So let's use our bola and knock this guy down. I don't know if... Oh, I think our guy over here is being attacked by bugs. There we go. Hopefully that'll do it. Come on. There we go. Bugs are down. Come on, Lamantria. Hopefully this doesn't kill it. Oh, there it is. It's down. So these guys just tame up with bu or bugs. <laughs> with berries so let's go ahead and give it some berries here and let's look for some more of course they're going to be very fragile um let's get onto the safety of the bird before we do much else here so i'll put the trace on this one and i can't remember you know the status of torpor and stuff like that on them but uh, we'll keep an eye on that one let's go look for some more there's a rock elemental just appeared out of nowhere what the heck level is this guy Level 12. Not concerned about that. Uh, okay, I think I see another Lamantria up ahead. This one's a little bit more brown here. Level 8. We're going to skip that one. I'd like to get something, I don't know, in the 60s and above. I don't really necessarily need any super high levels, but I want to just experiment with them. It's, I've got a ton of great saddles for them, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I want to tame up a Lamantra army, uh, army and just to kind of do something a little ridiculous today, which got to do something a little silly every once in a while. Okay, there's one over there. We got a 16 we just spotted. And what's you? 76. That's a really good one. Okay. Thought I saw a good level one over here, but sometimes those numbers just flash and you're like, okay, what was that? Okay, let's see if it's coming down. It is. And let's get our bola. There we go. Ooh, I think I fogged myself. Yep. How are we doing over here, guy? How did I miss that? There we go. Probably one more shot then. Yep, there he goes. So this is going to take actually quite a lot of Mijos here. So let's just give them all the ones we've got. I think we'll have to go back and get some more Mijos. Looks like we'll probably be okay as far as narcotic goes with our um, taming rates, but it's going to be close. Um, but they are not a real quick tame here. Um, 
What was that? Did we get hit by something? I was just looking off screen here. All right, so I'm going to get some more Mijos. We're going to look for some more Lamantrias on the way and also for another weird little creature. Well, there's a Perlovia. I think that's going to get murdered. So I found the other creature that we're looking for on Scorched Earth, and that is the Archaeopteryx. And I think there might be two of them over here. That one has landed in the tree. It's mate boosted. It's a 72. And then there's one over there. They're really skittish. So we're going to try our best. And hopefully there's not too much dangerous over here. I see some a terror bird the other direction. Okay, so we're going to try and do this over here. It might be better to have like a ghillie suit or something like that to try to sneak up on one of these guys. But uh, let's try some cactus broth. That's supposed to help a little bit. But some bug repellent. Oh. oh, we got him. Nice. So he's out. Hopefully not dead. Yes. He's out. And Torpor is going quick. So no, you don't eat berries. You eat chitin, of all things. So we'll give you that. Okay, so you are mate boosted. But oh man, your Torpor is really bad. We got to pick some narco berries here. Yep, put that away, please. Thank you. So, are we going to get some Narcos? Yeah, we got seven. Just got seven here. Oh, there's Terra Birds over that way. Well, I think we're going to be all right for a second here anyway. Okay. Yeah, you're going to... Well, you're taming quick, though. So, if we give you these, you'll be fine. Okay, so let's get on our bird here and see if we can... Get the other Archaeopteryx, that would be great. Let's clear out these Terra Birds first. Nobody wants you around here, Terra Birds. So our first Lymantria, something happened to it. Um, must have gotten killed by something, and our second one is still taming up okay. All right, so let's grab... There he is. I don't know, it's in the shrub somewhere. Ooh, that's a miss. Hey, we got it. I keep switching. I don't know where it is. There it is. And it's out. Okay, cool. So let's get some chitin on you. And let's pick some more berries here. And clear these berries out from around you too. Why not? So 72 will be nice. We don't really need more than one, but... They're not a real common spawn, and they're just kind of not real easy to see, so we got kind of lucked out here. So let's give you these 11, just chug those. We're not, like I said, we're not really concerned with the levels. Um, let me put traces on the other one. Oh, taming successful. So that was level 17. Cool. So we can pick these guys up if I wasn't wearing the Jerboa. So we'll get these back to base. And then we'll test them out over there. We'll see how fun they are. I think our Lamatria is still going to be a while. Let's pick that stuff up. And how much time do you think this one's got? Yeah, this is going to be probably just a few minutes here. So, Hey, I got one on the wing. Forgot to hit record, but remembered at the last second here. All right, let's clear these two guys out. This one I just knocked down is only a level 28, but... It should be kind of interesting. Should have left those corpses. Uh, I think that was a level eight, which I do not want at all. Yeah, level eight, I'll let you be. And you, let's just give you, I don't know, 50, 50 Mijos, see if that works. I'm not too concerned about you. Let's fly around over here, see if we can find some more. Uh, a lot of metal I got to harvest over this way. Let's see what else we got going on. Not seeing any yet. All right, now we got a level 68 that we're going to try to grab. We got a couple other ones knocked down. I'm a little worried about these pigs. Go away, pigs. Come on, throw it. Oh, there he's going down. Cool. So those pigs, I think, went down that way. So I'm pretty safe, I think. I know there's a rock elemental I just scared up somewhere up there, but it's far enough away. 
Boy, that one almost looked like I killed it. Okay. Let's head down this way. Level 68 male. I haven't been checking the sex of the other ones. Okay, so let's get that one ready. Let's check on our other guys as well. Oh, there we go. We got a whole bunch of them down. Uh, the first 76 isn't too far off. Level 28 is not too bad. But everybody else is taking a little while. So I think I'm going to wait for these guys to tame up, or at least a couple of them. And then we're going to take our Archaeopteryx out and see what it does. So I'm coming back to base, and I'm not sure what kind of ungodly horrors have happened here. Uh, I, I do not know. It's a pretty crazy, disgusting, weird <laughs> stuff. So we've got some of our uh, Lymantria autocryopods already. we got three of them. Let's see, we've got a level 98, a 41, and a 109. And here I got two more. I've got a 46 and a 109. So what is this? This other 109 is a male. So that's great. That'll probably be what we can we can breed one of these guys with. So with this one, we've got 1,300 health. We've got stamina is 292. Stamina is really bad on these guys. A weight of 227, which really isn't all that great either. Uh, it's supposed to be better than a Pteranodon, but who knows? Melee damage does not matter on these guys. Um, so you are, oh my gosh, your health is much, much less. Uh, so this is level 98. The other one had 1,300 health. This one's got um, 832. Oof. Uh, stamina is pretty bad, too, at 232. And let's say, yeah, melee damage doesn't matter. Weight 241, not all that different. Let's check out this uh, 109 right here. That's 1,400 health, so definitely going to um, breed this one, I think. Stamina's 300, which is also not too bad for these guys, anyway. Um, and weight 234. So we just got to wait for cryo sickness to go away, and then we can throw these guys out of the pod and... Test out our Archaeopteryx. Uh, before I forget, I dropped off our low-level Archaeopteryx. And also, I have to remember that they eat chitin. So we got to put some chitin here in the feeding trough. And as you can see, he's already gobbling up a bunch. So we don't want our guy to starve to death. So we're doing good over there. Over here, we're going to have... Actually, we've been waiting around a little while. We're going to have our second mating of our Lamantria. So there they go. That's cool. Good luck, guys. I thought we'd do a quick update on what's over happening over here with the uh, tech farm that I've got going on. Things are going pretty good. I haven't checked this guy in a while. He's still having some issues, but you can see we've got 316 um, oil, 360 element dust, and 346 uh, electronics and 200 metal so things are going pretty good over there it can't get over here unfortunately I took these out because the um, when these guys were hatching they would glitch into the foundations and then they wouldn't be able to uh, um, they wouldn't be able to get the thorny dragon wouldn't be able to get them now I was told to harvest these guys with um, uh, chainsaw which is actually a real good idea so let's go harvest those ones that um, the thorny dragon can't get a hold of over here and see just how well we can do um, if we can actually harvest these guys if they're not too far glitched in there so let's give this a try so we did pretty good we got 12 electronics yeah I mean it's not not crazy good I don't know Okay, he just got that one. Good job, buddy. So get that guy. So let's watch. He'll go after that guy, ate him. And we'll come back for the rest of those resources later. Settle down, dude. <laughs> Settle down. The only, thing that <clears throat> the only thing that gets a little weird is that guy gets stuck up on the other uh, shelf there, which is kind of unusual. I'm not sure why that is so let's drop this uh, resources off and then let's go take our archaeopteryx out for real
Okay, we're way, way up here on this rock formation, and let's take our Archaeopteryx out for a spin, such as it is. Okay, let's drop them out of the cryopod over here. There we go. And so when we land, if you haven't experienced an Archaeopteryx before, you're about to see it. We're going to cryopod our bird so we can get back home easier. So let's put that away. And here's our little guy here. He's got six levels. Um, I think I'll put him into weight for right now. And so what these guys do is we pick them up. It's uh, pretty ridiculous looking, but we're holding this bird, the first bird. So Archaeoptix used to be considered the first uh, bird that's evolved, but uh, there's some argument about that. And now we just use it as a parachute. So he flaps a little bit. Kind of reminds you of a cinema crops. But he's kind of a, a parachute. Unfortunately, you can't do anything while, while you're uh, flapping with this guy. So he's kind of handy to have, I guess, if you're running around. Um, he's actually acting a lot better than a parachute right now. He's actually propelling us forward. So if you want to, I don't know, silently go somewhere and... Uh, so now we're descending. Aren't we descending? Here we go. Let's get back over here. Okay, I believe I can descend by hitting R here. There we go. And then reactivate it. There we go. It <laughs> took quite a bit of damage, but we slowed down enough. Um, I think you can use these while flying. Yes. So this is a good um, parachute that, you know, basically is reusable. If you're prone to hitting E, um, like I am while flying, I haven't done it for a long time, knock on wood, but uh, you can uh, jump off of this guy and float around. And again, we can hit R to descend, and then we're going to descend quite slower, I think. I think I should not hurt myself. Yeah, it didn't hurt myself that time. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's not real useful, but it's still cool. You know, I don't care if it's not particularly practical. I'd love to hear from you guys, um, you know, if you actually use an Archaeopteryx. Um, I like them. They're real cool looking. Uh, they're handy to have around. You can't, they're not, you know, they're not as good as a cinema crops, um, but they're found, I think, on, I'm trying to think, they're, they're found on many maps anyway, so they're kind of easier to, to get and to find, so that's pretty cool. We've got some extra Lymantria here. We've got, I guess, three of them. So I thought we'd mess around with them. Let's put two into health and uh, two into stamina for these guys. Uh, let's grab this 46 and we'll put two and two. Uh, yeah, we'll do two and two. And then this one is a 41, and we'll do two and two and one for some reason. Let's grab saddles for those guys. We just need three saddles, and then we're, we're going to take a bunch of them out. Uh, those are my blueprints, and here is the rest of the saddles. So we got, like, ridiculously good saddles. I'm going to grab not the best, but pretty close. So yeah, this one's got an armor of 137, and I've been getting these out of drops, and it was a 109. And for some reason, let's use this 155. Okay, so let's get these guys. We'll, we'll take them out, and I'm not sure what the heck they're going to do. Um, I've never taken out a group of them before, and so we'll see. Um, let's see what we got. Who doesn't have a saddle? Just you? Okay, so let's grab you. And then let's take our male, a uh, higher level one over here, and we're going to do two into weight. Well, let's just one into weight and then put all in the stamina on this guy. And then let's see. This guy isn't as slow as I thought. So let's get you to follow, you to follow, and you to follow. Is that right? Are you guys following? I think you're not following. There we go. So let's fly up this way, see if everybody follows me. Uh, I'm missing one. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get these guys into. 
Now, I thought they produced silk, but maybe maybe not. Oh, I might have uh, our S-plus uh, collectors probably collecting the silk. We'll have to check that when we get back. Um, let's pick something really low level and uh, and mess around with it. So we've got a Darwolf 88. That is not low level. So this isn't too bad. I mean, it's not real fast, obviously, but it's not super slow either. There's got to be something to attack around here. Well, <laughs> let's just start with uh, this guy here. Go get him. Let's see what damage they do. Okay, so they fogged him. Are they actually attacking? It doesn't seem like they are actually attacking. They're just attacking with the fog. I thought they bit like at a level one or two. I wonder how much fogging they can do. Or if they're running out of uh, stamina here. Let's kind of look at them. I guess I can't really see. Okay, so let's whistle passive on these guys. Uh, there we go. So I'm just kind of curious if they ran out of stamina dropping that stuff or whatever. No. But uh, that might be kind of cool little function in PvP because it slows you down like an incredible amount um, when you get fogged by these guys when they drop out what they call their spores. Let's go over here, guys, and see if we can get into any other trouble. So let's see here. So we got a Titan over here. And what I think I'm going to do is whistle attack my target on this guy and then see if I can take advantage of this. So they're doing nine. I can't. See. I can't even see where he is. <laughs> there we go. So level 92, of course, is a pretty good shotgun, and there's a good chance of losing your guys here. But you know they're not that hard to tame. Uh, they're pretty pretty common. So if you lost them, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Plus, you get usually pretty good saddles for them. So I think it might be kind of a fun. Fun thing to use on like PvP if you know where there's like a, you know, a single player and you can swoop down, fog these guys, you know, fog somebody or their or their teams and uh, and do that. And then the other thing that might be helpful too is in taming something dangerous, especially if you've got like a sacrificial one. You just whistle attack my target and then that thing can't move and it'll be a lot easier to trank. Um, yeah, that's. That's a pretty good idea. I'll have to give that a try with something um, in the near future here. Because I got so many saddles, it's like, why, why not? I think maybe I'll like try it on a Carno or something like that. I think that would work out really well. Actually, why don't we try that right now? Um, well, let's go get some of our taming equipment. I don't know if I'm going to actually tame the Carno, but I might as well knock it out. So let's go grab... Not over here, but over here. We'll go grab our Trank Dart gun here. And where's our darts? There we go. And that should be good. So let's go. Let's just uh, unfollow everybody here. And then we'll just grab like this dude over here. We'll just have one of them follow us. Because we don't need to fog them with, with three, I don't think. So there should be plenty of Carnals around here, or we could do a, a, a Thorny Dragon or something as well. Uh, let's go see what we can find off this way. Okay, we just got a Sabertooth over here, level 12. So one thing we can uh, check out to see if, um, also is on like taming effectiveness. So yeah, um, so if these guys attack while, I can't see now, buddy. Oh, come on. Where are you? Okay. So he's fogged, but not really well. Oh, dang it. <laughs> well, he keeps fogging him, but that's not exactly the way I want it to go. Uh, there we go. So now just keep fogging him. Okay, I need to get in a good position here. He's only doing five damage, so they don't have a whole lot of health. But uh, let me get out of the way here. Come on, I'm stuck. Fog him. Okay. Fog him. Oh. 
Okay, so he's unconscious. Let me just see what taming effectiveness is going to be. I don't really care about taming this guy. So we'll wait on that one. Um, how's my health? I'm <laughs> more worried about my health than these maws uh, with their great saddles on it. Okay, so let's try something else low level. Um, maybe they'll actually knock it out eventually. Let's see here. What kind of parasaur? No, the parasaur is going to run away. Well, this is some pretty fun experimentation. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Um, are you coming, buddy? Okay, there's got to be... Oh, there was another saber tooth up top here. Where did you go? There it is. So let's do this. Let's get him to attack. There we go. Okay, so he's getting fogged up again. No, he's not fogged. Ouch. Okay, go get him. So he's running. He's torpor running. And he's fogged him, I think. Eh, I think he missed. Let me fog him. There we go. We dropped the spores on him. So now he's real slow. And now, oh, <laughs> it's a level 116. We should grab some uh, some prime meat actually for that one. And let's find our other one and see how that one's doing real quick. Yeah, so taming effectiveness is, well, we might have shot it while it was down, but it's only 26%. Um, whereas this one is going to be uh, 100%. So let's actually just go over here. I know this is a higher level one, but I don't really need a saber tooth anyway. So let's fog that thing. So it should be good in fog now. Let me just hit it again and see if that has a has an effect on the taming effectiveness. So let's pull that up again. So taming effectiveness is still 100%. So that's really good. Um, so like the fogginess, I guess, hitting them after he's down, basically it doesn't reduce taming effectiveness. So if I had a cloud of these, it would work even better. Um, and something a little slower, like a Carno, um, would be better than, you know, trying to do, try out uh, this on um, saber tooth, which are pretty darn quick. So I'm actually going to go tame that thing up, because why not, right? Um, so that's pretty cool. I, I like these guys. I, um, I thought they were complete garbage, but I, I can see a couple of niche, uh, niche rather, uh, uses for them other than getting silk. I don't, I don't think silk is really that important. It's easy enough to get. I don't know why you would need just tons and tons of it. Let's check that um, S plus collector and see if uh, if he's been collecting it. So you got turds and uh, you have not been collecting any silk. Uh, let's look at your options. Collection options. Uh, you don't have one for silk. So I thought these guys produce silk. I know if you kill them and chop them up, you get silk. Um, but we'll keep these guys around. Maybe there's a setting on them here. Harvest settings? No. Options? Don't see anything there. Inventory? Nope. So they're not producing any silk right now. We'll keep them around, see if maybe if they do. Maybe you got to... Put them on wander. Uh, one thing I heard you could do with these guys is fly through double doors. Uh, no. <laughs> Not working for me at least unless you can... Well, I got those railings there. That might have something to do with it. Yep, it was the railings that were screwing things up. Maybe if we enable wandering here. So let's do that and see if that helps produce silk. Because sometimes creatures need to to do that in order to produce stuff like dung beetles and that sort of thing okay let's let's get some of the sweet prime meat over to our say oops our saber tooth so that was a level one or the level 12 uh taming up let's transfer this can we transfer please there we go certainly don't need all that prime meat what the heck Leave my saber tooth alone. Well, I just got some, <laughs> just got some more prime meat. Okay, so let's see if this is in fact 
going to give us the taming effectiveness. Yep, yep. Taming effectiveness, of course, it wasn't going to stay 100%. Uh, what the heck's happening? Oh, no. I killed my saber tooth. No! No! <laughs> oh, no! How did that even happen? Oh, my gosh. Oh no, which one? Oh, I thought that was, oh, I thought I just ate the, uh, this level 116 here. So, okay, our <laughs> taming effectiveness has maintained. I am out of water for no apparent reason. Um, I get, I don't know why, but my canteen is just emptied up, uh, like right after I filled them. So anyway, we are going to finish up taming this thing, provided everything goes well. We don't have any more carnos falling from the sky. Hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of one of those little experimental uh, episodes, and uh, I did it. I haven't used the Archaeopteryx more than probably once, and uh, the Lamantria is more than anything really just for testing them out. And today I really tested them out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride with this. If you have, please uh, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and always love hearing from you guys in the comments section. Let me know about your experiences with the Archaeopteryx and Lamantria. Thanks for watching.